Hey there, this is Don Mars Ortiz, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install a super awesome contact form on your website that is not only gonna save you time, give your potential customers an amazing experience, but also has the potential to earn you some extra money. So here we go. We are on my Mars Marketing website, and you're just looking at my basic contact form, and you can see there's really nothing super special about it to look at. I'm asking for first name, email, message, and then I've got this send me tips to help double my profit. And this is really key because what you want to do is get people's, get their permission to email them. You never want to spam anybody. That's not what we do here. Uh, I have a capture form installed on this. You don't have to have that, but any autoresponder will do that. And then they click send my message. So the magic isn't in what the form looks like. It's in the, what the form actually does. So the minute that somebody hits submit on this or hits send my message, what's going to happen is number one, they're going to get a nice message from me that says, Hey, I received your message. I'm going to get back to you in the next 24 to 48 hours you know, your message is really important to me. So number one, they don't feel like their message went into a black hole. They feel like somebody is actually like, you know, we're not asleep at the wheel over here. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is that if they've clicked on help or send me tips to help double my profit, they're also going to start getting email tips that are going to help them double their profit. Now, what you say here doesn't have to be tips to help double my profit. It could be tips to help me lose, you know, seven pounds and nine days whatever it is that you help people to do you want to just you know offer that to them at this point and the truth is that some of your best contacts some of the best leads that are going to come into your your database are going to be people who sent you comments because those people are highly engaged they want to talk to you they want to get in touch with you so of course you would want to have the ability to keep following up with those people so what i'm going to show you right now is i'm going to show you how to install a form kind of like this one i'm going to show you a little bit fancier one but I'm going to be using Entreport because that's what I use. That's my CRM and I don't have another one to demo. So if you're using Aweber, Constant Contact, Get Response, just know that you can do the same thing with all of these or very close to the same thing with all of these. As long as you have the ability to take the form code, okay, the little HTML code that your autoresponder spits out and paste it onto your blog or your website, wherever it is, you're going to have no problem. So the first thing that I'm going to do here, I've actually already created a page that's going to be like our demo page. Uh, I'm going to head over to Entreport and Entreport allows me to create forms just like any other autoresponder that I've ever used lets you do. So I'm going to create a new form and I'm going to create a new Entreform. These ones are a little bit uh, more exciting. They're a little bit prettier and I'm going to find one that just kind of looks like, you can see there's lots of different designs, but I kind of think this one right here looks like a contact form and you can preview them and go through and, and see you know what what you like and so if you wanted to like make it wider if you wanted to yeah so I don't especially like the way that looks so I'm just gonna go with custom and then I'm gonna go to page style because these are not my colors so you definitely when you're doing this you want to make sure that you are using colors that reflect your brand hopefully you've got some some colors like brand is important so if you've got colors that you use these are the ones I use I'm just gonna click on save and here I don't really need this social media bar so I'm gonna delete that you can see that this is all just based on blocks and I'm just gonna delete that block because I don't need the social shares now up here I'm probably not telling them you want great design advice Let's see if this is going to work. And then down here you would just say, hey, you know, if you need help with this, 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 and you're, you have a comment or question, go ahead and get in touch. Now some of the fields that we have here are first name, last name, and email. I really don't care about getting their last name. and. The reason is the more fields that you're asking for, the more information you ask for, the lower your opt-in rate or the lower the number of people who are going to get in touch with you is. So I'm going to get rid of last name. So now I've got first name, email, and I'm going to add in, uh, I want a message field. So I want them to have the ability to enter their message. And the last thing I want them to be able to do is actually opt in or confirm that yes, I'd like to receive email updates from you. 
Now this is where, you know, I showed you on mine so that you're not spamming people, right? Because I want you to think about what the customer experience would be. If you come to somebody's blog and you're entering a question or a comment and then all of a sudden you start getting their marketing messages. That's not a very good customer experience, but if you have the ability to put on your form, yes, I'd like to receive updates or um, even better if you could say, yes, I'd like, uh, you know, info on how to double my profit. Okay, then you could leave it and you don't wanna make it a required field because you don't wanna force people into getting your messages but I'm gonna click on save uh, because I do want the, this is kind of what I help people to do. So if you've got something like you wanna help them with weight loss, whatever, like I said, then you could just go ahead and put that on there. So is there anything else? I'll probably spend a little time customizing the button. Let me come down here and edit my button. And I'll just say, Having a hard time with my keyboard today. I'll just leave it at submit. Okay, so now that I've completed the form, I, I need to tell it what to do. And so in your autoresponder, you may have a list that you want this to go to, or you may have already created the list, and then this is the form to get on that list. In Entreport, this is how you do it. So I'm gonna leave it as a single opt-in and I'm gonna use this uh, default thank you page. You would wanna have a nice thank you page that says, hey, thanks for getting in touch, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to add a tag that says they filled out the contact us form so I know that this is the person who came through the contact us form. And I'm going to add them to the contact, the contact us sequence that I've already created. Now what that what this sequence does in Entreport is it actually it first of all sends them an email that says hey thank you so much for getting in touch and gives them like a free gift okay because I think that if you can give away a little freebie on this first thing while they're waiting or uh, you know like a free video or something that makes a lot of sense it's a good idea to do that next what I want to do is I want to add a rule and the rule is that if the value of a field this gets a little geeky if the field value of yes I'd like to receive updates via email is equal to checked, right? Because we only want to send this to people who said that they want to receive updates. Then we want to add the contact to a sequence. And in this case, well, I'll just say that we're going to add them to contact us because this is my sandbox account. I don't actually have the sequence set up in here. So let's just say that I had another sequence that was like a newsletter sequence. Maybe I do have a newsletter sequence in here. I do. Or a new subscriber welcome, even better. So this is kind of like a getting to know you. You're going to send them some really good content. Okay. So the way that the rule works is that if yes, I'd like to receive updates is checked off, then add the contact to a sequence where they're going to get this new subscriber welcome. So I'm going to save that. Actually, I gotta name the rule. If okay, so if they've asked for updates, if that's true, then put them onto this new sequence. Now I could also put in here send a notification to this email address when the form is filled out. Um, that's a good idea because then you'll know when someone has sent you a message and so that you can respond to them. Right? You definitely don't want these things going into a black hole. You want to give people a really good customer service experience. The people who are filling in your contact form are really good contacts and you want to pay attention to them. That's the main thing. So I'm going to click save and then now that I've got this form done and ready to go, I've just got to name it. So I'll call it demo. And now what I need to do is publish it. And this is the easy, easy part. This is the same in all autoresponders. What you need to do is actually embed the form onto your page, and you do that by just grabbing this little bit of code. There's no actual coding knowledge required, so you grab the code, I'm just copying it, and I'm gonna take it over to the page that I've created, the demo contact page, and I'm going to make sure that I'm in the text tab of my, of my editor, and I'm going to paste it in here all right, and then I'm going to save draft because I don't want to publish this onto my website. I'm just doing it as a demo for you. 
And now what I'm going to do is give you a preview of the page. And voila. There you see we've got our, our demo contact form. It says want to get in touch, sign up below, first name, email, your message, and you've given people the ability to say, yes, I'd like info on how to double my profit. Go ahead and click submit and they get all of that goodness. They get that follow-up email that says, hey, we got your message. They start getting your autoresponder messages where you can really showcase your best step and show them you know, what all the good things about being part of your community are. And this gives you the ability to continue staying in touch with some of your best contacts and you just never know who might become a customer or a client in the future. So I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you in a video soon.